What's up, YouTube? Um, so, I had a great day at local today. I was only there for like two hours, but it was amazing. Um, so, uh, I finished my Fire Fist deck, so it'll be a deck profile also. So, um, I went there not uh, not planning to play because I didn't feel like playing. Um, I was only there. For, I was already late, so I didn't f feel like entering already. Um, so, <clears throat> it was pretty cool. Um, so, uh, towards the end of the day, I felt like buying a special edition. So, um, oh yeah, and my binder's pretty cleaned out of most of my good cards, so if you guys want to see that, um, hit the like or comment. Um, uh, so, uh, I decided to buy one special edition. I pulled the horse prints. I was like, oh, that's decent. It's going to go up in price in like two months, you know, with the three axis fire fist being really, really broken, um, being able to combo and plus really well. Um, that might go up to like ten, twelve dollars, so it wasn't that bad. And uh, five minutes of thinking, I was like, I'll go buy a second special edition. And I was like, oh, okay. and I brought my wallet, bought a second one, and then all this, all this uh, cashiers were like, oh, it's gonna start. This is the addiction. This is this is what's gonna happen. When you buy one, you pull crap. You buy more uh, until you pull something good. So yeah, um, so I pulled a bear. I pulled a bear, a madrat, and a lion emperor from one special edition. Three for three, one secret, one ultra, and um, one super. So I was like, happy days. So um, let's get started on this deck profile. Um, so it's three bears, very expensive bears. Um, their ultras are around $50 uh, right now. I'm like so amazed on why it's $60. Um, ultis are, uh, no, these are 50 these are 60 I was so amazed on why, on how much they rose up since they came out. Um, one gorilla, it's all you need, you don't need more. Two Tengu, um, I love the Tengu engine. Three Warwolves, two Rabbits, and two Tour Guides. Basic same um, uh, monster lineup as the guy that went second place, because it's very consistent. I really like his build. Um, just a few changes in the spells and traps, um, and possibly extra deck too. Um, uh, three uh, tankies, of course. One Tensu. I hate opening up with this card, but it's gonna get better later on once Tachyon comes out. Hopefully, we get Chicken as an import. I would love to get Chicken as a, as either a super rare or or a rare. That'd be pretty nice. Two Lances. I only have two, but they're supers and first editions, so can't complain. I love the card, though. I would bump this up to three, most definitely. Two Dualities. I want to cut this actually. Um, at all all together no dualities put in a third lance and possibly um, something else but this is uh, right now these are iffy uh, two soul takers uh, I decided to main deck these because uh, they're really good uh, against the mermail matchup which is my worst matchup in general soul taker just wins games I kill their big eye their bisgaios any of their synchros <coughs> so good Three spaces, because it's three spaces. I love three spaces. I've always played three spaces when it went to three. Um, Dark Hole Heavy uh, Reborn. Um, that's it. Traps. Uh, two Force. Two Bottomless. Two Torrentials. Three Fiendish Chains. So good in the water matchup. So good. I can understand why it's fifteen twenty dollars for first edition supers. Thank God I got first eds. They're all first eds. So yeah, uh, and a solemn duo. So that's it for the main deck. Um, for the dualities, I would take out um, the du this one duality for a uh, lance and probably this for a uh, deep prison, or make the deck forty one in general and and, and put in uh, two deep prisons, but. The reason you don't need dualities anymore is because the deck's so consistent. It runs so well. Even if you open up double vanilla, that's still useful. You don't need any of your other... You don't need the rabbit engine in general for for you to win. You can win just by pushing and punching their face in with uh, all your beat sticks and popping stuff. So Let's get to the extra deck. Um, Levier. Levier is good. It's good in general. It's always been good. Tem Tempo is broken as heck still. This card's good, but it's not as good anymore because of uh, Black Ship of Corn being a card. Um, Leviathan's good, of course. You know, beat down your opponent. 
two Tiger Kings. I rarely make these because I like going to other cards more, but it's there if I need like uh, an extra fire formation. One Chidori. The Chidori is really helpful actually. Um, there are moments where um, I open up double Tengu. I'm like, okay, what am I going to do with this? Might as well keep one Tengu alive and make the second, keep the second one there. And then um, attack and then go into Dory. It's really good to bounce back Gores. Like if, if Gores is being a problem, just bounce it back. Um, one Cowboy, because it's, it's good. I traded my other Cowboy away, so sadly um, I don't have any more. One Dweller. Um, some people say you need two, some people say you need one. I'm going back and forth right now, so. Um, one Shockmaster. I was surprised this thing's like a $15, $20 card. The Ultra version. Um, Corn. I was also surprised why this thing's 20 bucks, but I can understand. This. Roach. Roach is mainly for, uh, the Elemental Dragon matchup when it comes to the future or Chaos Dragons. Oh, uh, that's weird. So, uh, th this is a card that you have to keep for the future. And then the, I have two spaces. Uh, these are supposed to be a Diamond Direwolf and a Black... Sh no, no, uh, a Second Abyss Dweller, but I have two spaces open so you can explore. I would de most definitely just keep a... Uh, um, uh, what was that? A uh, Diamond Dire. This one, I have no clue. It's either a Second um, second Dweller or you can put Starlight Road in the deck and put uh, Stardust in here, but I generally don't like Road because it's always dead. In my hand, whenever I do have road, it always gets MST'd anyway. Um, I really don't like that Saki, like, okay, Heavy Storm, Starlight Road, and then, okay, you chain space. I'm like, dang. And then, like, sucks. So, uh, side deck, one Vanisher. I want to, I'm most definitely going to bump it up to two, because I have extra space. So, if I can pick up a second secret, it's going to be two. Uh, two Dinas. The Dinas are really, really good. Really, really good. So underestimated. Three uh, fissures. I think these are European print. They seem a little darker than the normal hollow. Uh, two night beams. The night beams are really good for the water and the uh, mirror match. Uh, one mind crush. Uh, I only needed one, but if I had to cut anything, it would be something in a si uh, trap lineup. Uh, I want to cut this for the second mind crush. It's better than uh, soul drain. In my opinion, because, yeah, I want to cut it for a second mind crush. Uh, two goes a match for the Samurais and wind-ups. And two breakthrough skills. Breakthrough skills really good um, for Gaios and stuff. I hate Gaios with a passion. So, yeah. Well, that's it for the deck. It's pretty much complete. Um, thankfully, I pulled a third bear. I was so happy about that. Third bear. Oh, where's the third bear? I lost the third bear. Great. Okay, there it is. So yeah, um, thumbs up the video. Uh, give me some suggestions on what to change and what to put into it. So thanks, guys. Peace out.